there, students. Today, let's talk about something most of us rely on to get through those all-nighters and early morning classes, caffeine. What's the deal with it and how does it affect our bodies? Let's dive in. First off, caffeine is a natural stimulant most commonly found in coffee, tea, and various energy drinks. It works by stimulating the central nervous system, which can make you feel more awake and alert. That's why that morning cup of coffee can feel like a lifesaver. But how exactly does it work? Well, caffeine blocks the action of a neurotransmitter called adenosine. Adenosine is responsible for making you feel drowsy, so when it's blocked, you feel more awake. This also leads to the release of other neurotransmitters like dopamine and norepinephrine, which boost mood and increase heart rate. Now, let's talk about the benefits. Moderate caffeine consumption can improve mental alertness, concentration, and even physical performance. It's also been linked to a lower risk of certain diseases, like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Plus, it can enhance short-term memory and cognitive function. Sounds amazing, right? But, like anything, there are also downsides to consider. Overconsumption of caffeine can lead to a range of side effects. These include insomnia, jitteriness, and increased heart rate. Some people may also experience digestive issues or headaches. It's important to note that everyone's tolerance to caffeine is different. What might be a perfectly fine amount for one person could be too much for another. The recommended daily limit is about 400 milligrams, roughly the amount in four cups of coffee. But even this can be too much for some people. Dependence is another concern. Regular caffeine users can build up a tolerance, meaning they need more to achieve the same effect. This can lead to a cycle of dependence and withdrawal symptoms like headaches, fatigue, and irritability when you don't get your usual dose. So what's the takeaway? Caffeine can be a helpful tool for boosting alertness and performance, but moderation is key. Listen to your body and know your limits. Enjoy your coffee or tea, but be mindful of how much you're consuming. All right, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and stay energized.